Cord to the Cloud. I thought it was where they had all these scripts here. And now I can't find that one about. Here it is. Okay, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law 30A, Section 18, this meeting of the Board of Health is being conducted via remote participation. During the public discussion time, members of the public audience who are dialing in by phone should press star nine to raise their hand to speak. If anyone is using a computer or tablet, you should click on the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen to let the chair know that you want to speak. Please mute your computers to cut down on background noise. You can unmute when you have been identified by the chair as having raised your hand. I will now conduct a roll call to check and make sure committee members and the director of the health department's video and audio devices are working properly. Okay, so Steve George. Here. John Tobiason. Here. Tim Radier. Here. Maureen Malay. Here. Nancy Gilbert. Here. Okay, so we were opening this special meeting on my little script paper here, the housing code variance hearing Susan Carew Rice of 121 North Pleasant Street, the Unitarian Universalist Society of Amherst, requests a variance of 410.150 wash basin, toilets, tubs, and showers. Okay, so we are having this meeting and we all received Kevin and Susan's work did you all get that yeah yes. uh, okay okay so the hearing will begin is rob mora in ed, ed is here um ed is here. representing inspection service oh, okay uh, hi ed hi um so we have this variance about showers kevin do you want to present your request Sure, and, and uh, thank you for, uh, for having this special hearing for us. We really appreciate it. And Susan uh, Rice may be also on the call. Unfortunately, with this Zoom type of meeting, I, I never know who else is on the call other than you folks. Uh, maybe that's intentional, I don't know. <laughs> but the way it's designed, I don't know. So I don't know, Susan Rice might be on the call. Can you tell, uh, Jen? There's another uh, phone number and um, they're unmuted if they want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, that could be anybody. Um, okay. So you got my email then um, uh, about, I, I consulted with uh, Liv, Liv Wyatt of Kuhn Riddle and, you know, she, as she pointed out, there's no place in the upper level of the um, Unitarian Meeting House to actually construct showers. So um, what we're asking for is a variance and we've spoken with the people at the Baptist Church and they're willing to let us use the showers. There were three showers there, two of which are accessible to people in wheelchairs. And they're willing to let us use them if we need them. And I've informed them that, you know, meanwhile, we're working with the town and there's a possibility we've spoken with Fire Chief uh, Tim Nelson about getting a MEMA trailer. Um, and I think that I think that we're probably eligible for one. It's just a question of finding one in an era of COVID, you know. So um, and then there are other options that the town is exploring in terms of sites that could include showers. So we're so we haven't necessarily worked up a man, the management plan yet uh, as to what hours and how often. But the the Baptist Church is pretty much, with the exception of Wednesday, they're pretty much open every day. Wednesday they have a food pantry that operates from two to four, so we have to work around that. But other than that, the, the Baptist Church showers are there, and that's what we've used for the last eleven years almost. Um, to, uh, to, to help people bathe who were staying at the, at the Baptist church. So the only difference now is that people would walk over here to, uh, to take a shower and we would, we would staff it with, with two people um, for, for the uh, whatever designated shower times there are. Hopefully I've covered everything, I don't know. Thank you, Tim. Do other board members have questions? When you say walk, Kevin, uh, so you're walking from the Unitarian Church up in 100 block North Pleasant Street to the First Baptist Church at 400 yes. block. 400 block, yeah. 
in, and in for any those weather. Who are, those who are mobility impaired, we will, you know, bring them in a car. But um, we don't have any agency vehicle to transport people. Uh, maybe we can uh, uh, see if there's a town vehicle available. I don't know. But we don't have one. Is point. that feasible in the middle of winter? For yeah, pretty much, because yeah. you know, people are going to be out and about, you know, even though these are 24-hour um, sheltering operations, yeah. they, they're still going to no one's going to want to stay in their room all sure. day sure. inside when the, when the sun is out you know and we would encourage them too in fact we are also considering closing from 12 from 12 to 2 so that people could go to the survival center and get a meal and then we'll use that time to clean the facility at the uh, at the unitarian meeting house you know i mean if this if it's a snow day we wouldn't do that but if it's a ordinary day we could do that if it's raining we probably wouldn't do it either but uh uh, on those days when the weather is good, we would just ask people to clear the clear the room so that we can clean it, mop the floors, clean the toilets, all that kind of thing. I mean, during the shifts, we'll be doing the high touch surfaces anyway with with the Clorox bleach solution, you know, five percent, I believe. And um, you know, uh, but this is this you know the daily cleaning of the of the of the sleeping area and the toilets. Well, the kitchen will be cleaned by the kitchen crew on an ongoing basis anyway. So hopefully, um, hopefully that's enough information, but I don't know. You ask me if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Well, one point that was brought up by the building inspector was, you know, we have to give a specific variance. You know, we want to you know, cooperate as much as possible. We have, we have to have some specific variance. So if we give the variance for the showers at the First Baptist Church, how will that work if you then have a trailer or something else? Can it, I guess what Rob was saying is that we should define <laughs> what the what the parameters are, like how many showers and what hours they would be available, or else we're going to have to meet whenever you have a change. Well, that might be that might be preferable because a we we hadn't had this meeting yet, and so we haven't gotten down to that level of granular detail. But b we've got to submit a management plan to the code enforcement as well as the health department before we can begin. So we were we were anticipating we would do that then. And then C, we are hoping that the town manager and his staff are gonna be able to find or identify, or the chief is gonna be able to identify a trailer, which would be preferable to use, because then we could get it, you know, we could have more hours available to, uh, to the people rather than specific hours at the Baptist church. So we don't have, I, I guess I didn't understand that you needed that level of detail. I, I don't think I understood that you needed to know where the showers are going to be as opposed to, are you going to waive the requirement at this particular site? So maybe it's a two-step process. Maybe if you would like, we would come back if we can get the waiver and then, uh, sorry, the, the, the uh, easement, whatever you call it. Uh, what do you call it? The waiver. Variant. Yeah, the waiver. Or variance. Yeah, variance. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you grant the variance, we'd be happy to come back and report in or check with the chair or, or the health department director uh, to let you know when the final detail is as to what we're going to be using. <clears throat> I mean, we're not going to overlook <clears throat> having an opportunity to shower. That makes no sense. Sure, sure. Maybe we should hear from from Ed um, about mm -hmm. what about the degree of specificity, Ed? Do you think uh, we can grant a blanket variance or like what, how does it I think that you probably can, and if we could include any information at this point, then we should. Um, you know, like if it's going to be, if the plan at this point is going to be at the church, the Baptist church, then yeah. we should include that. Right. Um, I, well, you know, we do. Must be, go ahead. We do have permission from the Baptist church, so if you, yeah, we could leave it at that. Yeah. Can we put something like we? Um, we issue this variance and the showers will be used at the uh, First Baptist Church according to the management plan submitted to the town. Right, which will be submitted, yeah. And they'll submit it for opening. Right. Is, or is submitted prior to opening. I think in Rob's email, you know, is there some language we can use that mentions the First Baptist Church, but also is broad enough to cover an, an other appropriate alternative without meeting again? Because I don't think the, the reasoning is any different. It's, it's the place doesn't have showers, so we want to give them a variance to meet this need that, that we'd otherwise harm people and have them have a, a shelter, which we want them to have. 
and this meets that need. But it'd be great to have wording in my mind that covered the, yeah. the situation um, brought brought beyond the First Baptist Church because we don't need to really discuss uh, that. <coughs> um, to me, the variance is that the facility doesn't have showers. Uh, that's yeah. Kevin put up before, and right. then. Sec secondary is what they're doing for showers, which isn't about the facility, it's about the needs of the people. So I'm trying to see the difference. Um, it would seem like we should be able to have some words that would work for both First Baptist Church and beyond. I don't know, Ed, Ed seems to think we can. I, and I think uh, Rob did in his email, right? Yeah, and did Rob mention um, putting a time period to it? I mean, at least for the season anyway. Well, we're only at the uh, Unitarian Meeting House until uh, April, sorry, May 1st, unless they choose to remain closed, depending on what happens with COVID. So if they do, then we would have the option of renewing, but I can't imagine that going past September. Well, actually, who knows what's going to happen in this pandemic? It's my first. I don't know how, how this is supposed to go. Um, you know, it, who knows? With, with Amherst being a hot spot now, uh, who knows how bad it's going to get? So as long as they're closed, um, they're they're happy to let us use the facility. There should be a date, though. Well, yeah, the, the, the lease that we signed with them is May 1st. May 1st, yeah. So then that's what our variant should be, too. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Would make sense. Yeah, sure. Tim or Maureen, do you have any comments? Well, I was just wondering, uh, in the email from, was it Rob? They looked like they was looking for more specificity about transportation, hours, etc. And that seemed to make it harder to kind of have a, a plan now and a plan for something totally different later. So I don't know how specific this, this, this variance needs to be in terms of specifying the information about the alternate options for showers. I, I kind of get John's point about this is about we know this building doesn't have showers, but we can still use it for a, right. a shelter. But how much it, it needs to be documented about the alternate option, I have no idea. Yeah, that's... Well, particularly since code enforcement and the health department are gonna get this management plan from us and we can't start until we get a CO from code enforcement. And this mm -hmm. could be best there. I mean, if Rob's interested and he's gonna to wanna to know, he's gonna to wanna to see it in our management plan, so. I'm guessing that it doesn't necessarily have to be addressed here, but if Rob feels otherwise, I, you know, he's the code enforcement officer, not me. What, Kevin, you said you hadn't thought this through completely, but it, I don't think we need it in our variance, but I'm curious, what, what would you envision to be the usage of the showers by folks who are using the shelter? What, what might happen? Just we, would, we would probably set up a time like two to four every afternoon except Wednesday because that's when the food pantry operates and there's no way we can cross over there. And so two to four every day. Um, probably, I don't know about Sunday, but two to four every day. Uh, okay. So it'd be a set period of time where you would help people you make use of those facilities. Right. Because we'd have to staff it. We, we can't yeah. let people yeah. we can't give them the church key, although many of them have their own. Yeah. Yeah. Church keys. Um, yeah. All right. So I think that's a bit more detailed, right? Mm -hmm. And you've mentioned transportation is by foot, most likely, unless people can't manage and on a yeah, personal basis. We personally carry them in, a, in our own car. Uh, both the director of operations and myself, we are covered in our director of uh, administration. We're covered by our insurance policy to transport people, but it's not our policy to normally do that. Yeah. Just to avoid that whole problem. Yeah. But if there is someone who is stuck, we do, we will do it. We just don't have a company vehicle to do it in. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed, could you explain, you know, I, this is the whole thing about this management plan is new. I, that wasn't mentioned in any of the documents. So could you explain what that is? So, so you're going to get from um, the Craig Stores staff a management plan and you have to agree before they can do anything. Is that right? Right. A management plan usually includes um, how the the managers of whatever kind of an establishment is applying for a permit are going to deal with reasonable um, and emergency situations um, and you know who, who's going to maintain the building who's 
going to, um, in the case of a lot of businesses, say who does their trash pickup, who does their cleaning, restaurants, we want to know who cleans grease traps and stuff like that. So it's, we want to see evidence that active local management is dealing with the reasonable needs of an establishment, whatever type it is. Okay. So Ed, the, the variance is one thing and the management plan is second. We don't need the management plan to, to give the variance, do we? No, the management plan okay. is part of what we will have in hand before we give the, the certificate of occupancy, say, okay. for the program. So if we give the variance, we don't have to include any of that in the variance? No, we, we won't. Yes, that's right. So we just say we grant the variance and then you take over with the management plan. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. And then if okay. there was a need to change, let's say to go to a trailer, there would be another management plan, presumably, eh? Is that how it would work? Get where it'll end up by that time. Hopefully we'll know where the showers are going to be. We're hoping to have this wrapped up by next week, this whole shower thing. You know, but you know, the things sometimes take longer than you think, you know, so. Oh, I see. So uh, you're not planning to change in the middle of the season from one to the other? No, we hope to be able to maintain wherever we finally decide oh. that'll be the place. Yeah. But, okay. um, you know, the reason that we left the Baptist Church is because it was too small and right, right. we don't want to now go back and reopen. But the pastor, I personally spoken to him and he's okay with it. If we have to use those showers, it's okay. But you know, we kind of have an unofficial agreement, like let's try and figure out where else can we do it first. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and closer to you would be good as well. Sure, sure, sure. You know, maybe we can have language that's something like, um, with the understanding at Craig's door, we're granting a variance for having showers at this at the UU location for the shelter, with the understanding that Craig's doors ha has options to provide showering uh, capability for users, you know, users of the facility, including the First Baptist Church uh, and, and other options being investigated. And that showers will be accept, accessed at, at, a, at a predetermined schedule and uh, staffed by uh, Craig Stores. Something just pretty broad, but, just, yeah. but that, that covers, the, covers the basis, right? We're, we're granting this variance with knowledge. <laughs> that's, that's what's needed, okay. yeah. Ed, and we're, I think it's defensible. Can I ask right? you a question? Ed, can I ask you a question? Of course. When a variance is granted, what is the wording in the variance? Um, I looked today for a couple of simple ones from the file, and I shared those with Jen. Basically, it says that the Board of Health, uh, after consideration at the meeting on October 15th, decided to grant your variance and then from what specifically? And your responsibility is specifically this part of the sanitary code of, that concerns with showers. Okay. And the management plan, going back to that, that has to do with, with the license that uh, inspections is granting. So, so really we, don't have to we don't have to include any of that in the variance? No, I would just cite um, the specific section from the sanitary code that's- yeah. 410. Dot one five zero oh, wash exactly. basins, toilets, tubs, and showers. Yes. So we just have to say, okay, got it. Yeah, and it's specifically sections B and C, okay. which specify how many showers for uh, per eight occupants of rooming houses, and also uh, C concerns the shower facilities being located with accessible from within the building. Uh, and and that, that should have a time period, right? Yeah, our contract is okay. unless so we have a condition. Do you, would it be typical to say you grant this variant subject to, or or do you just say for a period of time or subject to a condition of time or what's typical? Right? I would put a period of time to it. May first. Yeah. Yeah. Until May first. Yeah. yeah. November first to May. 1st. Whatever. Right. Um, should we mention some condition that it's subject to review by, you, you know, a building inspector or someone, you know? I think it's understood that they have yeah. to get the, uh, they have to get that sign off anyway, right? For the CEO, yeah. okay. 
yeah, yeah. So we won't get a CO unless we have a management plan that's acceptable. And they walk yeah. through as well. They come yeah. in. So yeah. Sort of yeah. Ready. Yeah. As does there, there are existing inspections for the two buildings already for their, their uh, yes. everyday purposes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we will specifically be looking to Kevin and his crew for the details that concern their operation within those buildings. Right. In, in Rob's email, he did suggest that we might want to specify the number of uh, fixtures and the proximity to the shelter location. Um, is there, you, I heard you mention eight per, how many for eight residents. Um, so I didn't know if we, you know, saying that this would cover other options as well as the First Baptist Church. So I don't know if that needs to be specified. The code specifically is looking for no less than one shower per eight occupants. So uh -huh. I think if the plan is for 16, then we're looking for no less than two showers available to 16 occupants. That's the ratio that has to be met anyway. Mm -hmm. And then the um, section C, um, we would just be setting aside as they would not be accessible from the, the building that's the base of operations okay. for this year. So it's really only this so-called section C that is of any concern to us right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. B is about, the B says provide showers. It, what's it, what's B? B is providing showers. I guess, what's the difference between B and C? I didn't. B is how many showers are to be provided. Okay. And C that they are within the same building. Well, I, I think we grant a variance to C, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that's it, and, yes. and, and assume compliance through the, the you know occupancy permit with with it otherwise, with all the other provisions of the code, mm -hmm. through the management plan that Kevin will that Craig Source will submit. But I think the variance has to include B and C, correct? Because in that building, we can't. Yes. Do well, I, yeah, I'm not, I don't have the code in front of you. I'm not reading the wording of B. Um, I can read B if you want me to. Sure. And what's it under? It's under something called? Um, it's 410.150, then a colon, wash basins, comma, toilets, tubs, and showers. B says for no more than eight, eight occupants of rooming units and rooming houses who are not otherwise provided with these facilities in a room not used for living, sleeping, cooking, or eating purposes, and which affords privacy to a person within said room. And then, uh, let's see, number two is one shower or bathtub in the same room as the toilet and wash basin, or in another room not used for living, sleeping, cooking, or eating purposes and which affords privacy to a person within said room. So that's the ratio. One shower per eight occupants. Does and B does it include the words that it that either state or imply that that ratio is about being inside the building or is it not even, that not part not even mentioned? <laughs> it, it's section C that refers to location accessible from within the, the building. Sounds like it really is C that we're granting. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay. Does someone want to make a motion? We got, we got any John, words we, yet? We, <laughs> we put some words together. Well, that's it. Put the words together. So John, John, practically, you, you, John got a good start on it before. So remember what you said. Say it again. Um, what would I move? I would uh, move. Um, I don't have the right numbers, but I would move that the Board of Health grant a variance to Craig's Doors Incorporated to provision. Like you know, the yeah, provision one, that ends in Part C of the state right, sanitary right. code, yeah. uh, 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 regarding providing um, indoor showers at the uh, uh, 
at the Unitarian Universalist Church. Um, Can I? And this, in, and this variance uh, is in effect from until May first, uh, twenty twenty one. Well, Ed had originally said, Ed, Ed, can you read the original, uh, the beginning that you said, the Amherst Board of Health yeah, yes. and our October um, 15th, 15th. 15th, a hearing <laughs> on a variance of 410.105, wash basin, toilet, tubs, and showers, section B and section C. No, not section just, just see, just see, just see. Yeah. It is section one five zero. Yeah. Right. Part C. And we grant this variance from November first to May first, two thousand and ten. Twenty-one. Right, twenty-one. I mean, 2020, <laughs> 2021, 2020 to 2021. Oh, man, my so head. Just one point, I think the, the petitioner is Susan Carew Rice as the president of the Unitarian Universalist Society of Amherst. And they, you know, like when the CO is issued, it's gonna be issued to the society, not to us. Okay. Well, okay, got it. So we're granting the variance to through the U, um, a, the UU Society um, of Amherst. Yeah. UU. Okay, UU Society of Amherst, UU CS, UU Society of Amherst um, for this part of the state sanitary code for this period of time for, uh, in order, I would say it would be useful to say in order to accommodate use of the, uh, the church facilities for, wouldn't it be useful to mention for uh, Greg's, you know, doors, home shelter. It, it seemed to make sense to me to mention why we're doing it. Sure. <laughs> um, the, and you could even say something like the board understands that that um, shower facilities will, appropriate for shower facilities will be provided um, uh, elsewhere. We may not even need to say that. So probably better not to say it, to say right. as little as we need to. In yeah, because Ed's going to take care of it. Don't worry. He'll, he'll yeah. do that. <laughs> give the certificate of occupancy. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, well, Kevin, I would suggest that when you pull together the management plan or just, you know, if you're using the one from last year, say, just specifically address the shower um, yep. provision, you know, that it will be, you know, no less than one per eight occupants and any details that you know at that point. Yeah, thank you. That's a good suggestion. Kevin, how many occupants will you have there? Well, that's going to come back to the code enforcement people because we have to submit the management plan and then they have to tell us what's authorized. There was some dispute, not dispute, but th there was some question uh, on the part of Liv because if she uses dormitory as the standard, then there's a need to have separate toilets, both male and female, which they are not now, they're, they're unisex. And um, the ratios are different in that code. There's a six to one ratio for women and a eight to one ratio for men. I guess that would be written, someone who wrote that must have been anticipating a, a concert where all the women are lined up next to the men's room saying, please, could you please let us know? <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna play out. So we'll either have 14 or 16, depending on what is finally decided by okay. the code enforcement. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, John, do you want to read? I'm not reading anything. Steve's been one, one right. I've oh, been Steve, trying. Do you have it? Do you I will. Down, I will try. Okay. So the okay. <clears throat> the the uh, motion is to grant a variance to the state sanitary code section four ten point one five zero section C to the Unitarian Universalist Society of Amherst regarding providing indoor showers at the, univer at the universe, uni Unitarian Universalist Church. I would, the, the what, what, was the first, what was the first half you got the, the variance? Right. 
to grant a variance to uh, to the state code with all those numbers yeah. uh, to the Unitarian Universalist Society of Amherst. And I would then say to uh, maybe to to um, um, I was going to say to facilitate, to enable, to allow <laughs> um, the, the use to of support. The, the, to support, to support maybe to support the use of the the, uh, the UUSA facility um, by Craig's doors, um, whatever the right words are to describe the shelter. Um, this and then you could say this very we're getting a variance from that. Um, but maybe you, you wanted to say something about what the variance, you mentioned the section, but use some words to describe what we were giving a variance for, right? I think. So it's, we're, we're giving a variance. Um, so you might, another way to look at it would be we would give a variance to the requirement for provision of indoor showers as specified in state code you know, whatever, right? We're giving a variance to that requirement um, uh, to it to support use of the facility, something like that. Somehow you want to get the code, the date, the time frame, and why we're doing it. Well, if I understand correctly, you're very, you're giving you're granting a variance if you vote to do so for CMR 410-1.150 section C. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. We know that, yeah, we got that part. It's a question of some words to describe what we're, what we're, what that variance is. I mean, it's not necessary. I guess anybody can read the variance, but we're, so it could be as blunt as that. Probably. I think, I think, I think the simpler the better. And we give that variance to the UU for them to support Craig's Doors, a home association for the months of November 1st, 2020 to May 1st, 2021. Amen. I, I think we have a public function here. You know, if somebody is going to say, well, why can't I get this variance then or something like that? I think there's some degree of specificity as to what this is, is useful because otherwise people are just going to say, what are they doing? Why are they, why don't, why can't some motel or something do it? So just some degree of specificity is, I think, Let's go back. Ed, what's necessary? You're the building code person. What's necessary? Well, I, I think you've pretty well there? captured it. Yes. Um, I think you've pretty well captured it. If you say where, when, you know, why, um, and you might say that this is a, you know, a, a temporary or this is, I, I guess saying November 1st to May 1st indicates that this is a period of time, but so hard to do this. this is a, a uh, strictly a temporary issue. And th this is a variance, which, you know, we, we inspect to the code. We do not have any interest in inspecting to a series of variances. You know, this is the exception to the rule. Right, right, right. So how specific do we need to have this, Ed? I, I think we want the address, you know, the, the owner of that address mentioned, um, the time period, the section of code, and the program that's using it. Okay. I think all of those things capture it. Okay. And then we will, through the management plan, we'll make sure that only an appropriate solution is accepted. Yeah. Or their yearly license. Totally. So we don't have to specify that we would only allow this variance if they had another option for showering, that there would they would provide those services on another site. You don't have to say that. I don't think so. Because they won't get an occupancy permit unless they do <laughs> occupancy their plan, they, they won't get it. So I guess I would, to me, it, it should be a, I, maybe two sentences, uh, Steve, I don't know, yep. one, one that we're granting in the variance to the right name and, and association, right? Um, that I moved at the Amherst Board of Health on October 15th, 2020, yep. uh, something, whatever the, we get the date in, yeah. a grant of variance to 
um, the section to the the right entity, right? We're grant UUA, whatever. Um, um, to the section of the code. From the, from the, from the section, variances from the section. Yeah, variance from the, uh, the code. Uh, the, and then maybe in that session, you get this, the, the details of the code, um, uh, which requires indoor shower facility, right? Because it's a, a code, you're stating those numbers and that code requires on-site indoor showers. On-site, whatever the words are, we can take the words right from it. It's, I don't know if it's on-site or indoors or within the building or it's something like that. What's, we should use the words from the code, the code, whatever they are. That section, there was a short sentence, right, Ed? What did it say? Right. Yeah, it's um, shall be accessible from within the building. That's the main thing. Okay. So say from variance of that section. Um, requiring showers requiring, to be accessible yes. from within Requiring the showers to be accessible within the building, period. <laughs> and and then um, say this, this something about the variance is granted uh, pursuant or something to the use of the UU whatever facility by Craig's door for uh, for the period, right? And first, you could put in the time period in the second sentence. The variance is granted from date to date uh, uh, to support pursuant to whatever word you want in the use of the facility by Craig's doors. Something like that. Does that make sense to divide those two things up? Yeah. Because, sure. I don't know. We can't, it's hard to be wordsmithing by committee over Zoom. It's is very no bad. Very, very <laughs> bad. Right. I know. I'm getting but Zoom. Why don't we just... pass the, the sense of it and then we should be able to wordsmith it, uh, Jennifer and Steve or something. I don't know. Yeah, let me, let me just give you this. I think we've got it. I think this is it. Okay. So the motion is to grant a variance to the Univer Unitarian Universalist Society of Amherst from the state sanitary code, all those numbers, section C which requires showers accessible from within the building. The right. variance is granted from November 1 to 2020 to May 1, 2021 mm -hmm. to support the use of the Universal Unitarian Universalist Church by Craig Doors Incorporated. Sounds good. And it, it just add 121 North Pleasant Street. Yeah, yeah get the UU. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's it's Craig's Doors dash a home association incorporated. That's their formal title. Got it right. Yeah, and, and just it's a small detail, but the Unitarians don't refer to themselves as a church. A society, yes, good, yeah. Because yeah. they have members of Jewish and Jewish and right, yeah, right. USA University so, Universities Society. Of I Amherst, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, we have the words correct from um, the email from Susan Rice. I think. Her, yeah. her signatory on that email is the right person. <laughs> okay. UU Society. Okay. Does someone make a, want to make a formal that, motion? That is the motion. That's the motion. <laughs> that I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write it up <laughs> immediately <laughs> right after and email it to everybody to give you a chance just in case there's some problem, but I think I've got it and I'll instantly send it, okay? Who's gonna second it? I second it, all right. <laughs> Who made the motion? Steve made the motion. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So we'll have a roll call vote on accepting this uh, motion for the variance. Maureen. Aye. Steve. Aye. Tim. Aye. John. Aye. Nancy. Aye. Okay. It's unanimous. Yeah. It's passed. I appreciate that. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for your patience with us. Okay. okay. Thanks for, for all your work. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, uh, are you still there? No. So then, uh, hmm? or do you have other things to ask me? Nope. No, we're good. Thanks for having a special meeting on our behalf. No problem. Uh, you're Absolutely. welcome. Absolutely. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. Okay. Thanks, so you guys. So, Jen, you're hosting? Yeah. Okay. So, I'll stop recording. You're all set? Thank you. Do we everyone. need to move? We, we should just move. We just have a you. motion to adjourn. You know, just. We need the motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. I move we adjourn the meeting.
All right. Second. Thank you all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Thank Ed. you very much, Ed. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all. Stop recording. <laughs>